Hello everyone. Um, I have a quick, 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 quick video to make about, well, pretty much energy stealers, energy vampires, energy suckers, and pretty much people who steal your self-esteem. They steal your energy. What is energy? Energy is us. We are energy. Everyone is energy. As in, if you give your energy to another person, you become weaker. If they steal your energy, energy suckers, energy vampires, energy thieves, any, anything energy, they will become stronger, you will become weaker. What does that mean though? It means that you have unlimited energy. If it gets taken, you can have more of it. How? By pretty much meditating, changing your mindset, a lot of things. But the people I live with, the people I live with are giant energy thieves. They're giant energy vampires. I love it when they call it energy vampires. I don't like saying it, but I find it funny and I rank higher in Google if I say energy vampires because it's more popular for some reason. The people I live with are giant energy vampires because the way you lose your energy. Oh, Step Grandpa came back. So I'm going to talk in a lower voice, even though he can't hear very well. Gonna pass by my window. Energy vampires. See, you saw them. Energy vampires, energy stealers. When you are in a great mood, you're in a great mood. You wake up, you're all happy, you're, you're accomplishing things. And then there's that one person who wants to be either dramatic or an ass or bully you or purposely cause drama to steal your energy. Energy is being happy. Energy is being successful. It's being excited. It's you. When someone steals your energy, you get depressed. That's a good way to put it. When you're in an abusive relationship, someone might beat you. Someone might say mean things to you, which will drain your self-esteem, and they get your energy. As in, they get your self-esteem, and yours slowly dies. So they get more confident. So the people I live with, um, my step-grandpa and my grandma, my grandma in particular, will always say this one phrase to get you going. If she knows that she can get you, because she's an incredibly high energy stealer, and just this year, I learned how to counteract her. So when someone pisses you off, usually you'll either complain on social media, um, yell at them, talk back to them, or uh, just get angry at them. But what does that do? It actually gives them the upper hand. They are getting your self-esteem, your energy, your feelings. They are stealing it while you are getting more angry, pretty much. So the way to counteract this, first I want to tell you what my grandma does on purpose and how I counteract it. So... Her most famous saying is, I don't have any time, which she knows gets me riled up because everyone has time. Everyone has time to do what they want if they put the time in. I don't have time is a giant excuse because my grandma does shitloads of things throughout the day. You make time for the things you want to do. My girlfriend just recently said to me, 
So you suppress your emotions to your grandparents? No. No, 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 no. I used to, until I found out this year that I can kind of mind control them in a way. See, remember how I said everything's energy? Your thoughts are energy. When you, in your head, when you think in your head and you say, these people don't control me, I control them. I am confident. I am this, I am that. You are raising your energy because you are making yourself more confident. You're boosting yourself up. When people purposely try to cause drama and you get mad at it, you either complain about it, you tell other people how mean these people are, or you just flip out in general. You are the one causing it. I know no one likes hearing this, but you are the one encouraging the negative energy to leave your body and go to those people. It may be invisible. Energy may be invisible. But it's a feeling. It's a feeling. It really is. So now I just easily, in my head, just focus on the person I want. And it's easier if you know their voice. And you picture your own self, you visualize, you don't have to meditate, fuck that. You, you just think, you, you can either close your eyes or open them, and you just think in your head of the person's voice, and you think of them, their face, and you say, I'm not going to talk to Cody. I'm over it. I forgot what happened. Cody's more confident than me. Cody is my master. Cody controls us. Cody, and it's just like you become the powerful person. You become the leader. While those other people become nothing. They stop harassing you. They stop annoying you. It's not hiding your feelings. Because I just found out I could do this about two weeks ago. You are in control of your reality. When these people, these energy stealers, these energy vampires, try to steal your energy, you counterattack it. And before it even happens, you control them. You take their energy. I know it may sound abrupt, but when you have people that are energy stealing your energy and making you weak and making you feel insignificant, making you feel horrible every day, fuck them. Really? Fuck them. Those people are evil. They tell us in society to not get revenge on people. But sometimes, honestly, you have to. You do. When you start controlling your reality and controlling the people who used to control you, your life will become 90 billion times better. It will. You'll be happier. You'll be more confident. You'll love life. Why? Because you took in control of your life. If someone does something that irritates you, don't say in your head, these people are so mean. Don't feel anger. Feel control. Say in your head, every time someone says or does something stupid as fuck to you, you say in your head, I am more confident than you. You don't say it verbally. You say it in your head, I am more confident than you. You have no control over me. I control you. You are my puppet. Say those things. Every time someone tries to do something shitty to you, and eventually it will stop. Because believe it or not, your energy, your frequency that your body gives off will start to grow. And those people, just picture two bubbles. And this bubble starts slowly getting sucked into this bubble, your bubble, and yours starts growing as theirs starts shrinking. Their aura, their feelings, their emotions becomes weaker. They become weaker. You become stronger. 
This morning, while I was naked, I was about to get in the shower. I had everything ready. I, s I set everything up. I got my toothbrush so I could brush my teeth while I was showering. And as I was about to start the shower, my grandma knocks on the door and says, Cody, you're not about to shower, are you? I need to get in there. Because she goes to church every morning, so she gets into heaven, which doesn't exist. Higher power does, but that's for another video. She feels that she needs to put tons of makeup on to look pretty. And if I kept thinking about this constantly, it would drain my energy. But you know what? The only reason I'm saying it is because I want to give an example in this video. Don't let negative emotions consume your life. Don't let negative people be the stronger person. She knocks on the door and says, I need to take a shower, though. And so she's done this before. So I said, no, I'm starting the shower. Deal with it. I didn't say deal with it, but I pretty much said, no, I'm naked. I'm about to get in the shower. I'm not going to re-put everything on, take everything out, and then put everything back in. No. Because the only reason people do that shit is, one, for control, and two, because they want something. They don't give a shit about what you want. They care about themselves and their ideas and their goals. So I say by all means, steal their energy because they're stealing yours. Okay, another thing I want to talk about <laughs> is that you, you, are not suppressing your feelings or emotions. You're taking control of the situation. Once you start learning how energy works, you're going to love life a lot more. Why am I black in this video? It's because of the lighting. Once I get a better computer, which will happen, I will have a better camera. So anyways, I want to give examples of what my step-grandpa does to steal energy, just really fast. I know I control him. I know I control my grandma. And I don't, like, threaten them. I control them through thought and intention. I want to say what my step-grandpa does, not my real grandpa. Step-grandpa does to control, to steal my grandma's energy and mine. But he doesn't anymore to me because I control him. Yeah, I'm smiling right now. Uh, so, basically, he will sigh. If he disagrees with you, if he disagrees with something you're doing when you're near him, he will sigh, which is actually a healthy thing to do. It lowers your fight or flight sensation. He will also go, <coughs> he'll make that noise. I've heard that noise for three years. Not this year, though, because he doesn't do it anymore. Thanks to me. He does do it, though, to my grandma. See, what happens with the two of them is that he passive-aggressively passive steals my grandma's energy while she tells him things to do, and since he has no backbone, he, he does those things, which steals... They steal each other's energy back and forth, kind of evening out the playing field. <coughs> okay. I want all the naysayers out there to know that energy is very real and it encapsulates our bodies every day. We're energy beings and when you give out the right energy, you are the leader. You give out the wrong energy, you'll stay the loser. If you're with someone, a friend, 
that has a low negative feelings and frequency of energy, you, you eventually will absorb it. Get away from people. Get away. I had a friend for five years, six years actually, and we were best friends. We got pizza together. We, but the problem was both of us, we complained all the time about our problems. We just complained and complained and complained. We never got to the root problems. We never took, because neither of us knew about energy. I do now. And when he calls me in this paranoid voice that the world's going to end, that those are just feelings of paranoia and depression. That's the truth. You can't be near that because that will bring your frequency, your energy down. When you're around an abusive person who will just degrade you and be an ass to you all the time, passive aggressively, you got to get away from that person. Unless you are extremely powerful and you steal their energy before they steal yours. This doesn't mean you have to bully them. This just means you have to be confident. You have to know what you're doing. Like I said, I just learned about this two weeks ago. This is almost like uh, mind control. You are literally weakening someone from the inside and you are stealing their energy, becoming more powerful. This is what bullies do, but you don't have to be a bully. You can either be confident or you can be a weak bully that becomes stronger by insulting other people. Yeah. Yeah. So that's prob pretty much all I have to say. It's better to boost your confidence um, this is different for everyone because I've gone through the energy shift for so long that I've gotten out so many bad memories and so many bad things to the people that caused them. But you don't have to do that. If I learned about this years ago, I would have used it so much more. <laughs> like yesterday, I keep getting harassed about my mom and grandma. They keep telling me, are you keeping your salt up? Because one Asian doctor, when I had the last seizure, was like, your salt levels are five, uh, five less than they should be. You should increase your salt. That, that retard, that's because I had a seizure. My hydration went down, my salt, everything went down, my body reset, my brain reset. That's how a seizure works. So now, ever since my grandma and my mom, that I never got the thi thinking, oh wait. So yesterday, when she was about to say it, I said, if it's about salt, you're not going to say it drop it. She didn't say anything. My grandma didn't say anything. No. If you have a higher, because the more people who agree on one idea combine their field, combine their energy, they're huge. But if you completely, because after a while, and I've noticed this, I can walk into a room and feel their energy trying to take mine down. It's a feeling. You can feel it. If you Learn how to increase your field, increase your energy while you're around a big crowd of people who all have the same idea. One person can take all of them down if they're strong, if they're powerful. You can absorb all their energy if you are the controller. Thought works. Intention works. Do them.